This is a Knight of Unfortunate Events, a uh, featured contract by Cat, chosen by Quine. We have five targets in Nightmare Cash. We have to kill them all in accidents in our suit, but other than that, there are no additional complications. So we're just going to bring the pistol and coins. We can't really make any use of anything else that we would have available to us, so we will just get started. There's only one start point on this map anyway, so no real mastery concerns there. When we get started, sometimes when the map is restarted, uh, the first target will be drawn to this van by an alarm. This won't happen the first time you start right, the map, yourself, so you can either load or just throw, them throw a coin and lure them over here. Now this one leaks weird, it doesn't really leak a puddle, but it will still explode if you shoot the right spot repeatedly. So kind of aim around here like so. <laughs> Takes about four shots. Oh, look, right You'll know you hit the right spot if you hear the leak sound, uh, even though the van itself doesn't really seem to leak properly. Now, the next thing we need to do is deal with this soldier, Farouk Omer. He doesn't really like to respond to coins, though, for whatever reason. So, what I have re recommend doing instead is wait until he's kind of turned around away from this bike, throw a crowbar, and then run past wait him. A minute. The crowbar is a louder noise, and for whatever reason, that will kind of draw his attention better. And then just shoot the gas tank a couple of times, and it should blow him up. Get the crowbar back if you can, because we'll want that to exit. Now, while we're uh, waiting for this guy to calm down, we're going to set up Myrna Cameron. She's kind of far away right now, but she should be the first person that crosses this puddle. So all we have to do is shoot the plug, and that will kill her eventually. Now... Next thing we need to do is get this guy to calm down. Now, we could shoot the bike and blow him up, but in my experience, that can be a little what? worrisome, uh, just in terms of NPCs walking hmm. by, that sort of thing. So, instead, just coin him over to that little gap there. Watch carefully for anybody looking around. And when he gets over to here, kind of spam the button to do an accident kill. Sometimes it won't work, Okay. but real life. just need to make huh. him turn again. Oh, that's okay. Basically, you're just gonna kick him down here as soon as the game lets you. No one should notice that. They will hear it and find the body, but again, it doesn't matter. So, Cameron should be right there. She's gonna head for the puddle soon, so as long as we just don't bump into her or anything, we should be good there. So, we're just gonna leave and head for that last target. Just bump anybody that you think might go into the puddle before she does, but... Nobody else but her should cross that puddle in time. There we go. That's another accident. So again, we don't care if the body's found. We don't care if anybody sees the kill. So our last target is over here with the barfing guy. Yeah, he's in a bad state. There's... So what we're going to do is just come over here, knock the sick guy out, I don't have a clue what he looks make sure that nobody's looking, knock him out as well, take his gun if you can, just to be on the safe side. What we're going to do is just dump him down the well, that's going to be a fall accident, so that'll count as an accident kill. And because we have a crowbar, we can use this exit by the well, so just exit. Nice and simple, and even relatively fast, although not as fast as you could do this one, but fast enough. 